Hey guys, it's Justine and today we're going to be unboxing and checking out the brand new MacBook Air that Apple just released. And I always get so excited to open stuff up with a knife, but Apple makes it way too easy and we don't need a knife. Look at you, look at you. This is such a great color. Oh, they call it gold, but in my eyes, this is pink. Oh, that smells good. Take a smell of that, guys. You know you're smelling your screens right now. Don't even try to act like you're not. So it has a 13.3 inch retina LED display, 1.1 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5, 512 gig solid state drive with eight gigs of RAM. It's got the new backlit magic keyboard. It also has touch ID and it weighs 2.8 pounds. This really is a very powerful, tiny little machine and you can really do anything you need on this thing. I was editing videos on the previous version and now that this one has 80% faster graphics, that'll definitely help out in the video production department as well as editing photos and of course playing games and watching YouTube videos. Let's be real. I have spilled all of my, I've spilled my drink! My foot's wet! Oh God, Justine! My foot is soaking wet with yerba mate right now. There's still a little bit left. I'm gonna go get another sock and another drink, and maybe I'll get a towel to clean this up. I'm back. So let's just look at this beautiful gold color. It's so light. That is the appeal of the MacBook Air, is how light it is. This really is a perfect little tiny computer. So while that's turning on, let's see what else is inside of the box. Our USB-C charging cable. The gold stickers. I really- to use English as the main language. Press the return key. All right. And last but not least is our little USB charging brick. This is a really great charging brick. I actually use Mac this. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. For if you know how to use VoiceOver, a press lot of command things now when I'm traveling. And, set up your Mac. <laughs> and we are all set up. There is nothing better than a nice, fresh smelling Mac. Like it, this is, everything is so clean and new. The arrow keys are also new. So this is to mimic the 16 inch MacBook Pro keyboard. You can tell that they're way more separated. So if you're not looking at your keyboard, you can tell which keys are which. And that's in comparison to this one, which is the old keyboard. So there really is a huge difference. This is the new scissor mechanic keyboard. There is a lot more give when you press the keys down. So I just realized my microphone wasn't on. It's like I've never made a YouTube video before. So one of the things that's really great is Apple does have education discounts. So if you are in school, you can get this MacBook starting at $8.99. For all of us that aren't students, it starts at $9.99. It comes in three different colors. We've got a space gray, we've got the gold and the silver. There's also two different options depending upon which storage size. So there's the 256, that starts at $8.99. And if you want to up the storage capacity, there's the 512 and that's starting at $11.99. It is really great using this MacBook Air because it's so small. I'm so used to traveling with now the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which considering it's quite large. So having this on a flight or going to classes, it's so light, it's so small, it's so compact. But I think what's really important is the fact that they were able to hit a 999 price point plus be able to get all these upgrades. So the three main upgrades, you've got the new keyboard. You also have a starting configuration of 256 gigs of storage and it has a faster CPU, a faster GPU, and it'll be able to handle most daily tasks. And you probably shouldn't flip your computer around like that, especially me. <laughs> I do want to do a size comparison though of this and the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Oh, look what I have here. I do have a dbrand skin on this and it is pink. So my computer is, is not actually pink. So you can definitely see a size difference. I mean, this would probably fit in one of my small purses. This obviously is much bigger. It is way more powerful. You really do need to take into consideration. Like what are you using this computer for? You can definitely get away with editing video on this. No doubt about it. I will actually do a video test. So I will prove it to you that yes, you can edit video on here. If you want something that's a small form factor, you want an inexpensive Mac, this is it. 
here you go. So these speakers now have two times more bass, 25% more volume. It also has the three microphone array that is in the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. They're making a really big deal about that because they were saying that there's a professional grade microphone built in to your MacBook already. And I will say that I've recorded a lot of VO projects, a bunch of things that people probably would have thought that I had a professional crazy microphone set up, but I really just use my microphone on my MacBook inside of a closet and you would never even know. Let's go test out the speakers and the microphone. So I'm gonna go in this closet over here. It's, I don't even know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. And you know what? If Bon Jovi were to give me a copyright strike, I would accept it because it's Bon Jovi. I've been listening to Bon Jovi nonstop. I've been in the house for a while. Did I make that? Yeah, with your Crayolas and- uh... I did, I got out some Sharpies. I was like, I'm gonna make you this really nice welcome to the Sable Center. How long have you been on tour? Wow. February, March, and this is April, it's the third. Wow. Oh, that's cool, so this not, not too crazy. No, not too bad. I'm like 35 shows into it, so I'm not, I'm not cuckoo yet. <laughs> There's nobody here yet, but soon this entire place will be filled with Bon Jovi fans, me included. These speakers are incredible. Like, it's actually really, really loud. It's almost like John is here himself. So now it's time to record some VO. Normally, I don't actually use this closet. I use a closet that has a lot of clothes in it, but this is my office closet, and I just have a bunch of gadgets in here. So there is a little bit of echo, but I think it sounds pretty good. Hey guys, it's Justine. I'm here in the closet recording some VO. This is a nice day. There's my dog. You can hear him in the background. That's really all I have to say. I hope you enjoy it. Have a nice day. So if I sent that to a VO casting agent, do you think I'd get the job? That's really all I have to say. I hope you enjoy it. Have a nice day. <laughs> I mean, it sounds great. I, I mean, I don't have to say that it sounds good because I've used this in many projects and no one would ever even know that I was recording directly off of my MacBook. Can I come out now? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm gonna do a really quick edit just to see how this handles video editing. I'm gonna be editing a video about the Narbox. You guys may have seen this before. This is basically like a hard drive, but you can put SD cards into it and you can connect this directly to your iPad. This can act as an external drive. This is so incredible when you're out on the go. You can just pop your SD cards in. You can do automatic backups of cards. I'll definitely be making another video about this, but if you're wondering what I'm editing, this is what I'm working on. So I'm gonna make a little multi-cam clip here. I'm also gonna be screen capturing this at the same time, so that's gonna be putting some added pressure on the system. It's running really well. Yeah. yeah. I've been a huge fan of Narbox for a while. Well, like not only am I editing a multi-cam, I'm also screen capturing. Like it's running great. Are you using proxies or? No. What's the, is it set to better performance? I did put better performance. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. So really check this out and test it. Can I just see? Yeah, come here. So they've allowed shooting with my Sony. That's impressive. I know. It's I definitely they've allowed shooting with my some phone, Sony, and I want to get this content onto my phone. It hasn't even rendered into the timeline, like yeah. nothing. Like it hasn't transcoded. Recently, I'm editing this basically just raw. And I'm editing off of the solid state drive that is not a fast one. So I forgot about that too. Well, I'm gonna keep editing this. If you guys wanna hear a follow up on how the editing is going on the new MacBook Air, follow me on Twitter or Instagram and check out my Instagram stories and I will give you guys a follow up there. But so far, I'm really excited about this and I'm really glad that they were able to make a really great price point, but also increase the specs. I think that's really important. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep editing and let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to know about this or really anything. I'll see you guys in the comments. But oh, looks so good. I think right now more than ever people are questioning what is the perfect computer or what is the perfect device for me. And I think you really do need to think about like what are you going to be doing. If you're doing a lot of high intensive editing, editing 4K, 8K, this might not be the computer that you do want to choose. You might want to look into getting more of the upgrade with a MacBook Pro. This is the machine that's perfect for doing word processing, for writing, to do photo editing. But if you are looking to do more high production, then I definitely think that a MacBook Pro might be right up your alley. But 
for everything else, like this is an incredible computer. Let's also go through and see if we can spec out what the high-end specs of this thing can be. We're gonna add a 1.2 gigahertz quad core, 10th gen i7, 16 gigs of RAM, two terabytes of storage, and that will bring us up to $2,129. So that's kind of a first look at the new MacBook Air. I am definitely really excited about this. This is something that I do love taking with me when I'm traveling or if I'm out on shoots. And I don't wanna bring a big computer. So depending upon your computing needs, I think there's so many different options that Apple has, but if you are a beginner, if you're going to school, definitely take advantage of those educational discounts because that's huge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear from you guys. What is the one thing that you most are looking for in a laptop. Is it RAM? Is it storage? Is it processor speeds? I'd love to know. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the bell. And that's, I think, I think that's all the things that I'm supposed to tell you that you have to do. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, one second, I gotta go get it. That's how this works. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look what I have here. <laughs>